Hi, this is Mr. Scott, and I'm going to show you how to do pyrometallurgy, uh, the process by which uh, we're going to take, and this is kind of cool, this silver oxide powder and turn it into the silver metal that you know and love. So let me show you that process uh, as we get started. Once again, this is silver oxide. Looks nothing like the silver metal that you know. So to do that, we're going to use a Kingsford piece of charcoal, and I'm going to show you how that we can get this to donate its electrons to the silver ion here and make the beautiful silver metal. First thing you're going to want to do or use is you've got a scupula here. This scupula you're going to use on the charcoal to kind of burrow a little bit of a hole. Not a huge one, just a little bit of a hole on the one side of the charcoal. You're going to flip it over and you're going to burrow and use it to kind of dig on the other side. Just want a little hole so that the powder doesn't fly all over the place. All right. Secondly, I put a piece of paper towel underneath to catch all the little pieces of charcoal so it doesn't make a mess all over the lab bench. All right. Once you do that, then you're going to find your powder. I've got silver oxide. There are some other powders out there. Ask your teacher about it here. But we're going to try to turn this into this silver metal that you know and love. All right. So to do that, I'm going to open up the powder here into the scupula. I take uh, about that much, so a little tip of the scupula. I'm going to put it into my piece of charcoal here that's on the ring stand. All right, I'm just going to put it into the little hole there. Set that down. I'm going to readjust the height of this thing so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so here's my little piece of charcoal. Now, got my <clears throat> Andy Danny Bunsen burner right here. I'm gonna light my Bunsen burner. I'm gonna turn the gas on. Watch long hair sleeves. If you don't hear the, the gas come out, it's probably because the bottom is closed. Just open that up. I'm gonna go ahead and light that Bunsen burner. Now this is a pretty high yellow flame, so we wanna make it smaller and get a small blue cone. So how would I do that? Do I want more oxygen in there or less? Uh, the answer is more, so I'm going to open up this barrel on the Bunsen burner and you'll see it change to a blue flame. I'm going to get a lot smaller flame, so I'm going to close the bottom here on the Bunsen burner and you should start to notice the size of the flame change. It's a nice blue flame, I can turn it at an angle here to help get that silver that I'm looking for. So you got a blue flame. The other thing you're going to be using is what we call a blow tube and you want a gentle uh, breeze that you're gonna blow. You're just gonna add oxygen to the fire to make it a little bit hotter. So I'm gonna put this at a 45 degree angle. All right, give it a little gentle blowing here. Once you have got your piece of silver, all right, I don't know how well you can see that, but I got my piece of silver there. Uh, then you're gonna take it over and we have a mallet and a hammer and you can hammer it out. 
uh, and you can also clean that a little bit. But now that should look a lot more like the piece of metal here, the silver piece of metal that I had. And all that happened was I got the piece of charcoal so hot that it was able to donate its electrons. And I'll show you what that is on the board. So here we are. Uh, we're at the uh, classroom board here. I'm going to work through this equation. And uh, basically that AG2O that you see there is a solid. That was the black powder that we started with. Um, the piece of charcoal is your carbon. And if you can identify this reaction, you might note that it is a single replacement reaction. So the silver is going to be left on the other side and the C is going to bond with the O. So ultimately what you're going to have here is AG and the C and the O are going to go together to form carbon dioxide gas. So once again that full reaction here, the carbon donating its electrons to the AG and you're, fit, you're forming that silver okay, and the carbon dioxide. You might note that oxygen is going to be the spectator ion so we can leave that out and then I'll leave it up to you to come up with the oxidation and the reduction reactions for this reaction. All right, thanks.